Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Do I have a good video for you today? Yes, we have the cooking show. No, I am not in the convict kitchen as you can see. The convict kitchen is in the motor shop. It's getting repairs done on it and it will be back in action, but I did not want to leave you guys out and not do a cooking show. So I am gonna bring you one of my great recipes from prison and I learned this in Schoolkill, Pennsylvania when it was cold. But before I get started, please check me out on all YouTube member programs, Patreon, Discord. Please check my book out, Thanks to Redemption. Loving it, it's doing great. A lot of stuff about that in prison. You'll hear about my cooking in prison and stuff of that nature. Check out our cigars, everybody. They're doing very well, and we're doing very well with the cigars, and uh, people love them. It's the CookedDiamondCigar.com. Check it out there. Okay. Let's get right into this video. And this is an exciting video for me. I'm gonna explain what all this stuff is right here. And I hope we're gonna show it right. Everything I have here is exactly how I did it in prison. So we're going old school on this one. Even how I cut things up. We have a bowl. We had paint bowls, paint buckets. We have a new one clean. And the reason we did that is because the last one actually cracked on the bottom and they will do that after a while. We used to get them out of the uh, CMS and everybody had them. All the guys who have been in prison a while has a bowl like that. We also have, how are we gonna cook this thing? This is a stinger. If anybody doesn't know what a stinger is, you can go to one of my videos in my library, in the playlist, and you put bright, and I actually make this stinger in this garage before it was a studio. And this is an actual stinger I make and I still have it. So you're gonna see how that works. Over here, everybody, over here, here's what we have. We used to get seasoning off the commissary. Salt, pepper, we had honey. We had mozzarella cheese, you could buy this right off the com. All of this you can buy off the commissary. Bread, we didn't buy off the commissary. Bread, we used to steal out of the kitchen. Ramen noodle soups, everybody knows. And I'm not using the soup itself. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with that. Obviously, onions. Onions used to cost two stamps, sometimes three stamps, depending on how hard they get and how bad you wanted them. We all had bowls. Everybody buys a bowl, a little legit bowl, right off the commissary. And guys like myself had two, three, five bowls. And they're just a regular bowl, just like that, with a cover to lid. So we have these. And that's how you'd be cooking your ramen noodle soups and everything else that goes along with it. So we're gonna have fun today, and I'm gonna have a little surprise. I'm making French onion soup. Yes, French onion soup, prison style. Now here's what's gonna be fun about today. I'm gonna make it right here, in front of you all, from soup to nuts. Then I'm gonna bring it into my mother. She has no idea. You guys know I take care of my mother. She's 90 years old. And my mother's gonna drink, have some soup and let's just see what she says. So let's rock that up. Okay, here we go. First things first, got ramen noodle soups. Obviously, I don't need the soup. I'm making the broth. There's packets in here and this is beef flavor. You need beef flavor. So we're gonna do that. Then first thing to go, I'm gonna get the water running. So first thing you do, I would fill this out of the water fountain or anywhere actually. Now this is gonna be my broth. I'm actually gonna be making that much soup. I would feed 10 guys and they'd love it. Everybody would love it. So I'm gonna start the process. The first thing you do is you put it, the stinger in the water. You have to put the stinger in the water first. If you don't, I blow every fuse in this out. Then I'm gonna connect it to my power, and boom, wow, that is gonna boom. Look, you can see it from the top cameras. You see it already? It's starting to the buzz, the connection, the, the current between the things are going that way. Now we're gonna take what we do best. First thing I'm gonna start cutting up the onions, and I'm gonna take the onions and put them in one bowl. Now, we're gonna do that. How do you cut up an onion? We don't got real knives. We got plastic knives. So, 
when you buy tuna off of the commissary, which you did. Now, some places took the cans off the yard, and now they only use bag tuna. But when I was in, we had this, and this is important. So this is regular, actual tuna we used to buy. And the reason I'm gonna say, show you this, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen, you see there's 30 grams, 30 grams of protein in this can. I used to eat at least one of these a day. Take it, here's what's good about it. This is gonna be very important. And I would drain it right into the garbage. Salt it up. Sometimes we have mayonnaise too. And if you have mayonnaise, you're really doing good, guys. Because you get mayonnaise packs from the, from the kitchen and stuff like that. I didn't have any, and I'm a, I'm a hardcore dude. Hardcore! So I'm eating. You know how you're tough? You can eat tuna out of the can. And I'm only really kidding, guys. We're having fun doing this one. 30 grams of protein. And I'm doing this online because... I ain't wasting the stuff. All right, everybody, see? Finishing up the tuna, and we did have a little issue there. I blew a breaker on my box on the floor. I have a, uh, uh, a unit that for all the cords, and you will. So you don't try this at home unless you know what you're doing, because stingers can burn a house down. We had an issue there, and the issue was we blew a fuse on the box. Now that would happen in prison. But we're not stopping eating. We knew the guards. A guy named Massey, if you haven't seen the videos of him, he'll tell you how. He used to go and actually go up and uh, hit the breaker for us. It would trip a breaker. If I took this out right now, it would pull the breaker to the house. Then we're gonna be black. Who knows, that might happen. And I actually did it for this. We would get these and make a make it a cutter now what i'd also do we blew a breaker people we blew a breaker this is fun we're blowing breakers all right that got hot over there we're gonna have to put this on a heavier duty line and we're gonna do that i'm gonna get massy right now that's the guard and we're gonna trip that breaker back as you saw, we just fixed that problem. We went to a higher breaker and that can happen in houses, so you gotta be real careful. We have a lot of on out stuff here and that's what happened there. Okay, this now becomes my cutter. As you can see, I'm boiling out water that's gonna be the soup water. So the first thing you do is you take these ramen noodle soups. I am gonna do a little bit different on this. I'm gonna keep the noodles itself. Now normally we give them to somebody who wants to make their own meal that night or whatever. We didn't care. We wanted to use the packets that are in it. So I'm going to do this to all the packets I need. There we go again, boy. We're breaking it down. And you know what? It's kind of fun. Because uh, we would run into issues like this. And you think that's going to stop us from eating? Here's our next move. And we did this move too, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna do it right here on air. Hey Nick, we tell it like it is here, right? Let's go get the microwave. From the day room, which he was right in the middle, and we bring it into my cell. And I did that many times. Let's do it right now. We never quit. Never quit, we gotta eat. So we took the microwave. Believe me, you do this right out of the day room. Especially during the day, people know who you are. Hey, listen, we need it for a bit. Using the day, you're good. So what you do, obviously, you want to get your, your water ball while you're prepared. So, what are we going to do? We're going to put it in there. Now we're back to what we're doing. I'm finishing up putting all of these packets and I need the packets for the broth. You know, French onion soup isn't hard. We're not gonna be caramelizing the onions. 
but we're going to be softening them up. They're going to be flavored, and we're going to have the mozzarella cheese on top. So this is going to be a really good meal. And as you know, I eat everything I cook, and mom's going to eat it. That's going to be the real thing. And you know, if she don't like it, she's never getting fed again. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> We never sold these. When we were making these, if you were in on the meal, you had to bring something. So I'd tell someone, hey, you bring three uh, ramen noodle soup beef. You bring an onion, you bring this. You know, we'd have certain stuff that we'd steal. So guys would steal it and want to be in on the meal, obviously. So that's how we did it. Now with these, these extra things, you know, we gave them to the guys out there who didn't have money. Some of the guys like that, they were good dudes. And we just, we looked out for people. And you know, it could have been my guy cleaning my, uh, my cell, something like that. So we always did look out for people. And that's how we did it. And we're gonna look out for Nick's dog, Morty. Nick's dog, Morty, and his chickens. Don't ask. Morty don't even get it, he said. <laughs> the chickens, he don't give a shit about. Always keep me clean, you know how I am, wherever I'm at. I'm not crazy like some people. All right, people, back to work. Got out broth. That's the broth. And here's what I'm gonna do with it. Stop this by opening it. As you can see, this is what we're doing. This is our broth. All you're gonna do is flavor this water. And you're gonna flavor it really good. Yes, you buy these soups for a quarter. They were a quarter. And the soups, we used to buy them and we would give them away for somebody for these packets. But somebody's getting the ramen themselves. You know, when I had no money, I would always have ramen noodle soups because you could eat them raw. And when you ate them raw, they, then you drink water, they would fill your stomach up. And believe it or not, you're not hungry then. As you can see, I'm taking my sauce right here. You probably see it here from the top camera. Now, what you're doing with this, this is gonna be your broth. This is gonna be a soup that you have no idea. You start flavoring it now. I'm a flavor guy, it's just me. So I'll put my salt, pepper, everything in there, get it boiling, a little seasoning, which we buy right off the thing. They had different types of seasoning, every present, Used to mostly have Old Bay. It's called Old Bay. Don't be scared to season food. Listen, you can drink water when it's seasoned for a meal. I'll show you what we're gonna do with the honey later. So this is all here. Mix it up real good. We know Nick is waiting for the bucket to, to fall, and when it falls, it's gonna laugh. Well, it ain't happening here, Nick. Let's start that back up. All right, people. All right, everybody, next up, while that's boiling and getting really flavored, and that's what you're doing, you want to cut your end onion, just like I'm doing. See this? This becomes a knife. These are knives, people. So, uh, even the guards, you know, you peel this usually, even the guards wouldn't give a shit. Like, you know, uh, oh, they got a, a, a can cutter. Now, I am hearing that they're taking all of this off the yard. Now they have bag tuna. When I, even when I started getting out, they were changing to bag tuna, at least in some of the joints. And it was just because of that, because we're making so many weapons in prison. But I like to put an onion. When I make an onion soup, and I'm making it for 10 guys, listen, people think that was a lot of water. Gallon of water. Well, when you have a soup, how much you, how much you eat? Listen, if I gave a pint, four quarts in a gallon, eight pints, two pints to a gallon, uh, to a quart, gonna be for my onions. And believe me, guys, we had uh, everybody want in on this. Cause you want something flavored, you want something different. And you know, every time you can skip the kitchen, it's a score. Me, I was lucky. I didn't go to that kitchen that much. In the beginning of every joint I went to until I got settled, I had to. But, you know, you gotta eat. Nick, you'd like to see me cut myself, wouldn't you? That'd be a really good one, huh? I'm no wuss, as the kid said. I'm no wuss. 
in the last show. Onions don't make me cry. Eating makes me cry. <laughs> I love onions. As a matter of fact, when I go to store, I get, uh, always I get like, uh, what are they, fried onions? Not fried, uh, onion rings, you know? You get fried onion rings, whatever they are. But anyway, so you're doing this, and I learned this recipe in Schoolkill, Pennsylvania. We used to have to go do what they call shovel duty in the, in the, in the winter time. So when you had to do shovel duty, man, I'm telling you, freeze your balls off. And what you did is come back and somebody have something for you, or you know, we asked hot chocolate, you think we're a bunch of pussies? No, fuck it, we like it. Now look how much onions I'm putting in here. There'll be a lot of onions in this soup, people. But if you're gonna do it, you do it right. I'm smelling that broth, baby. Smelling the fucking broth. Nick wasn't too fond of my uh, recipe with Jude, my egg recipe. Kinda didn't like it. I don't know where it comes from. It comes from that rich family stuff. Now, always it's easier to cook, people, with when you cut stuff up with that kind of cutter than one of these plastic knives. You all have the plastic knives. You buy a set in the kitchen or in a commissary. You know, that's where you're uh, the bullshit. We ain't in the free world, kid. This is bringing me back to the real freaking world. That's why I gotta survive. And that you saw me eat the tuna, that's protein, baby. There's no protein here. Sure is good, and it'll warm you up in the insides. Fill your stomach. Ogres are like onions. All right, people, as I say, I keep clean. Always clean. Man, I'm smelling that broth, baby. Now, I'm in my cell. I'm letting it, that, that cure, that's getting nearly nice. It's got four minutes left. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. Spot on, people. Well, that's really tasting good, everybody. Now I'm getting the onions involved. Of course, this is what you do. Look how you can cut these people. You got any plans? We know what we're doing. Look at this. And I'm gonna do all of these onions like this. Look at that. You know the OGs in the joint, they'd have the big cans from the kitchen. You know, they, they, when kitchens buy stuff, they buy it with those big cans. And they'd have some big cutters like that. Now, as you can see, this onion is like perfect. Now we got these, they cost two, three stamps right here. You know, stamps is money. And those guys who hustle out of the kitchen, they knew to come to. Lawton, what do you got? What do you got? I'd say, what do you got? Yes, I've cut my hand many times. But the price of doing business. Lawton survives everything, dies of cutting his fingers off. Making French onion soup. The convict kitchen is temporarily in the studio. All right, look at that. Now, I'm gonna cut them all up. But I'm gonna put one right in there now and show you that. Oh, that smell, baby. That smell. All right, we're gonna be cutting up the last of these onions and putting them in that thing, the big bowl, cooking them. Now, if you remember, we used to cut up the garlic with razor blades because you gotta be a lot finer. This, you're chopping. This is a chopper, not a slicer. And believe me, when we did something like this and the place is smelling and the whole works, People are coming up, they want in. Hey, Lord, what do you got going? Hey, Lord, what you cooking? If you have to ask, you don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But you know, every prison has their cookers. I'm not saying I was a cooker, but I sure did know how to survive. And that's what it's about. Surviving, and the less I'd eat off that commissary, that's why I would eat peanut butter. And I would show people how to clean out a peanut butter jar right here on this show. And people were blown away. If you haven't seen that video, 
check out the playlist. It's pretty cool. Learn that in prison too. I guess I learned a lot. Pretty tough, tough uh, tuition for to learn how to clean out a peanut butter jar, make make white lightning, make fucked up French soup. <laughs> but you make the best of you can. Got a lot coming up, everybody. Tell you this, I'll be doing some collaborations with JD Daly, uh, also Ian Beck, Beck, and I'm going up there, and we're gonna do a cook off up there. But now those guys were in different prisons than me, so we're gonna see what they had, what they had to do. See if they killed for their food. I've seen guys get killed over food, but real. I've seen guys get stabbed. It's crazy. Over a peanut butter jar. Oh, you're crying. Yeah. Nick's crying. I told you I don't cry over this shit. Why are you crying? Oh, onions make you cry? I thought you were on the spectrum. You the little tags on your shirt make you fucking uh, uh, weird out. What crazy shit is that? I think I heard that's on the spectrum. Spectrum. I fucking built the spectrum. That's why you're looking at my eyes. I only cry when I eat. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it right in my face, too. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now you're going to see it. Show it the way it is, baby. Whoo, baby. It's going to be I'm a genius. That alone was a trick. Now, while it's cooking, I'm bullshitting with the guys. We're hanging out, doing drugs, whatever you do in prison. Uh, I don't support that. You know that. Not illegal drugs. Anyway, going to need this. This we don't need. Some people like to salt it more than others. Pack some mozzarella, just get them right off the commissary. When we layer these in a bowl, and we're gonna make two bowls here, you're gonna see I'm gonna layer it a lot. I'm gonna layer four and four, because I'm making big bowls. Now, usually we wouldn't do that in a joint. We'd only layer maybe two, three, depends on how much we got. We have the you know, it's a little better out here on the street. Nothing better. Mmm. Wow. Well, now, two things I'm going to make and prepare while the dish is being made. Obviously, you can't caramelize onions. I don't know how. You're going to need some shit for it. I don't know what it is. I didn't even look it up. I'm going to make these bowls. Now, remember, making one of these bowls. Not for Nick. Nick disrespect me. He don't think prison food's good. My mom, she doesn't know what we're doing. So when I go bring my mom a bowl of French onion soup, and that's her favorite. Go to a restaurant, anything, my mom always had French onion soup. Well, that's the real judge of this. And people, you know how I am. The real deal. I'm not going to Bullshit if she says it's bad or good or whatever. Ah, in fact, Nick is going to sneak a camera in there. Talk to her. He knows her well. She's not even going to know she's being filmed. And she's going to try my French onion soup. That's going to be fun. All right, here's what we do now. You know, in real places, they use, uh, what's it called? Like crouton. Well, what do you think we are? In France, Nick's having a little problem with, with, with crying over here. So we're doing this, people. This is bread, we get stuff sealed off. I'm gonna be fancy. See this? It goes like this, but. Look at this, guys. You put that in, and I'll make two. And cheese on top when they're boiling in here. 
It's going to be amazing. Because it's going to melt. Now, you'd be surprised what people will do with bread. And what I mean by that, not only feed birds or something like that. What guys will do is it's filler. I used to take potato chips. I think I showed you that in one of my recipes. I take potato chips and crunch them up, the little back end of, a, uh, end of the uh, potato chips, and put that in my room, ramen noodle soups. Pretty good. And if you've really been paying attention, wait till you see what I do with the honey. The honey goes in there and gives a little thickness. So when you're getting that onion soup, it's got the honey, honey sugar. Honey's the honey bear, and they sell this. So we can get stuff like that. You're doing good. We're checking this out. Man, smell is good. Mm. The key is, everybody, is to make the onion soft. So after we do this, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna put it in bowls, we are gonna put our bread layers, our cheese layers, and put them in the microwave. You don't need the lid. You put them in the microwave, it'll melt nice, you bring it out, and boy are you hitting it, and you bump it. Now you keep this, because when you get a big bowl, you don't want that to go to waste. You're gonna be eating it. So, everybody, we're almost done. I can smell it, it's done, it's almost soft enough. When I pull it out, take it out, we're gonna get some of the soup into the bowls, lay our other stuff on, a little of the honey, and then lay the cheese. Then we're gonna cook that cheese on there, and Nick and I are gonna have a nice bowl of French onion soup. And mom too. I'm eating mine first, because mom might want it all. When I used to go to a store for my mother, she would say, pick me up a big quart of French onion soup. She also liked that walkabout soup. Here it is, it's time, baby, it's time. In the hospital. Oh, fuck. Ooh, whoa. Look at that, people. Oh, wow. Chicken that out. Heaven. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what you do. We need the mics. Now, that wasn't bad. Now, you know, it's not like we had ladles, so you do this. Make sure you do it right. It is onion soup. You don't want to be cheese cheap, and why not? How's that, Nick? Nick, you like onion soup? Some days, yeah. All right. Don't be a hothead. Now, you cook as much as you want. Now, look at this. Now, look at that suck up. Look at it sucking up. I'm going to show you. Look at it doing it itself. Chef Ladder knows what he's doing, bro. Now you do this. Here's the key. You get to know your microwaves. You get to know your times. Obviously, I really wasn't cooking this kind of food out here because I didn't go buy it. As you can see, it's a lot of work. We're going to do one at a time. And you keep an eye on it. Ooh. Smell that? Oh man, I'm gonna go get more bowls, putting this away. My brother will be by later. Maybe my sister, if they're nice to me, I'll give them a bowl. My brother will beg for it. You saw him eat the pasta. If they're nice, they get a bowl. If Nick's nice, he gets another bowl. Mom, she's gonna love it. My prediction. If she don't, she's out. Now, when you're doing this in your prison cell, if you got a celly and he's got no money, he's gonna help. He's gonna clean, he's gonna do whatever. He's gonna help serve, dust stuff like that. You know, you can start figuring out ways to help each other. Either you help him or you kill him. Only two options in those kind of prisons. My buddy Paulie Tallini, right now, he's going, damn Larry, you're good. He was a good cook too. All right, we're up with Nick. Oh, 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 look at this, baby. Now 
Now you tell me, people, that that didn't go right. Okay. Taste test time with me. This is French onion soup, the way that goes, the mush in it, and the stuff, and the... All right, Nick, come on around, buddy. Which one do you want? The cooler one. The cooler one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me how that's not bad. Tell me, be honest. You gonna beat someone up for 30 more minutes of the microwave? Listen, if I have to. <laughs> the onions are a little crunchy, but other than that, the flavor's good. I think you're right, I could have cooked the onions a little bit more, but... Who you got a stab? Who is he? Guy Ferrari or the other guy? Uh, guy, guy Ferrari. A Ferrari, Ferrari, what's the, and what's the other guy's name? Uh, Gordon Ramsay? What about uh, Bobby Flay? Didn't you beat up uh, Rachel Ray? <laughs> Rachel Ray? Did you see the broad? Man, it's just good a lot. Well, people, this is French onion soup. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the bowl, get another one, go to see my mom. Let's go see mom. Here is my French onion soup. Put it down, because it's heavy. Okay, lay back, you ready? Yes. Oh my, I got it. Try it. Well, no, if it's too hot. It's not hot, it's not that hot. Just gonna blow on, you know? Oh, it's too hot. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. When I eat it, I'll let you know. No, Mom. <laughs> Look. Look. No. Listen, I worked hard for this all night. I You're gonna my... get it all over. No, I'm not getting it all over. Come on. Okay? Don't touch the cheese. Oh, too hard. But it's good, the taste. Oh, the taste is good. But you gotta cook this more. To cook the onions. They're not, they're hard. Did you try it? No. The onion's a little hard, but it's good. The onion won't hurt kill you when they're hard. Oh yeah, no, you don't like hard onions. <laughs> I don't have teeth. Try, try, try the liquid, try the sauce again. The, the soup itself, without the onion. The broth. Damn. See, there, there, there. so I just need to make the onions a little bit well, softer. For me, yes. For you. And not the cheese, the chunks. Okay, but you see how good it is? Look at that, look at it, sitting up there, a little bit too. The onions are a little too hard, honey. Is that it? I mean, the mm -hmm. sauce, the broth's good? The broth is good. So I made that special broth. Cheese, you gotta chop up, not one big chunk. Man, hey, mom, you melt in there. It gets in there. Yeah, melt? But you, you know, it's French onion soup. It comes in the round bowl. It's always chunked up this, like that. This melt? How come it didn't melt? It does melt, but it always <laughs> does that in cheese. Come on, mom. Am I no? Am I wrong or right? You're wrong. Oh, who goes out to eat more? You or me? You. So who knows more? You. How's that taste? You got, I'm telling you how it. Tastes good. The broth. The broth is very good. And the onions would be good too if they were softer. They're too hard. Okay. And the cheese, you don't put in one Mama, big chunk you know of when you cheese. go to a to you go to a restaurant, the round bowl, and it's on the top and you're doing the same thing. Over time. I, well I never got, I had it in a restaurant, so yeah. Okay. You wanna put it down for you or are you, are you liking it? Yeah, I do. I'm telling you. What, what I, I even got the, 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 look at the brown, the brown stuff. That's the, like the croutons. Yeah, go ahead. What's put it that? On. Just try it. It's like the crouton thing they put out. Try it. Just try it. It's not too hot. Go ahead. You'll be all right. Not too hot for you. It's too hot for me. But how was it? Good. Very good. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Keep doing that. Now, again, the cheese is good for you. Keep going, keep going, and pull it, pull it, pull it, and now eat the cheese. That cheese is good cheese, it's most of that cheese. I know, I'm not complaining about the taste. You don't put it in a big chunk like this. Sorry. All right, now try it, eat that. I'm gonna oh. end up leaving the cheese in here. All right, but you eat, I'll, you'll eat that whole thing, because it's only soup. I told you, whatever I make your food, it's good, right? 
That's what I'm telling you. The taste. Do you know what know recipe this is? The taste, yes. This is my prison recipe. Yeah, I know you said that. And I make prison recipes good, huh? Remember the pasta I had? You remember the, uh, uh, what else did you have? Oh, the egg stuff. The pizza stuff. There you go. Now watch. All right. I just want to make you a bit, then, you know, I come up here and I stay with you. I take care of you. Well, you take care of me? Who takes care of who? Nobody. You go all day and you never call me. What are you talking about? I never call you. When did I go all day? I go out for three hours or four hours? I don't call you. Oh, uh, yesterday. It was four hours, Ma. I left at four thirty. We were home at eight thirty. No, you left earlier than four thirty. Mom, I know we left okay. at four thirty. We had to be at the bank. Nick will tell you. Nick, what? The, when did we leave yesterday? Be honest. We left at four thirty. Because we were rushing. We were rushing to get to the post office and the bank on time. What bank? Don't the banks close at five? No, six. Ooh. But we had to get to the post office. When did that close? Five. Oh really? Yeah. So, and we had to get it, and it's Friday too, so you know. There you have it. What did my mom say? My mom said, great taste, really tasty. She has no teeth, so she needs this onions real soft. Cheese comes like that, but hey listen, I got somewhat of a pretty good approval from a 90 year old woman. There you have it. That's prison French onion soup with Larry Long.